Hello chess friends, I am Jitendra Advani and welcome to Chess Talk. In today's chess video, I am going to show you an amazing chess opening trick which will help you win more games. You need to watch this till the end because I also have a really interesting chess puzzle for you all. Let's see if you can solve that. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a trap for black which arises out of the two knights defense. Let's get straight into it. The game starts with e4, e5, knight f3 and knight c6. This is a very common opening played at the intermediate and grandmaster level. From here, most white players bring out their bishop to attack on the black's weakest square and that is f7. If you see, at the moment we are protecting this g5 square with our queen, so this knight cannot jump over here to attack this weak f7 square. But what we are going to play now is knight to f6. We are inviting white to move his knight here because our queen is no longer defending this square. This pawn is being attacked twice by this knight and bishop, so we need to do something about it. Let's block off this diagonal by playing pawn to d5. Now white will naturally capture this pawn. What you don't want to play here is something like knight captures d5 because white can sacrifice his knight like this and he can destroy you with the fried liver attack. I have made a detailed video on the fried liver attack. You can check it out by clicking on the i button above. Going back, some of the main moves in this position would be knight to a5 or pawn to b5 with the idea of attacking this bishop. We are not going to cover any of these in this video. What I'm going to show you is a cheeky little trap which starts with the move knight to d4. Now since we are not threatening the bishop or knight, white will obviously start thinking of attacking this weak f7 square again. As you can see this pawn is obstructing the bishop from hitting this weak spot. So he tries to get it out of the way by playing d6. But that's a big mistake. After queen takes pawn, white is feeling on top of the world. He has two options to attack now. He can either take this pawn with his knight or take it with his bishop. If white captures this pawn with his knight, then he's gone. Let me show you how. After knight takes pawn, it has a double attack on our rook and queen. So we will slide our queen to c6. Notice how our queen is double attacking this pawn and bishop. After knight takes rook, we will take this pawn with our queen. White saves his rook by moving it next to the king. From here, unfortunately for white, he will have to lose either his king or queen. Just see this now. It's queen e4 check. If he blocks with his bishop, then knight to f3 is a beautiful smothered checkmate. If he does not block this with his bishop, then the only other option he has is to block with his queen. But then he loses his queen and will ultimately lose the game. This trap resembles the one in the Blackburn shilling gambit. I have made a detailed video on that as well. Don't forget to watch it. You can tap on the i button above that's showing on your screen right now. Okay, now let's go back to this position. Now what if white takes this pawn with his bishop instead of the knight? It will be a check so you have to move your king. He will have to pull back his bishop because it is only supported by this knight, which can be easily kicked away. So he plays bishop b3. We take this bishop with our knight. Pawn takes knight and then we advance this pawn to kick away this knight. He has only one square to go and that is f3. We will push him back further by attacking the knight with our central pawn this time. Now the best move for white here is to actually take this knight back to g1. But most average players don't like to do that. So the only other option he has is to move it to h4. He might look to bring his knight here so let's block off this square by moving our king. If you see now, this knight has nowhere to move, so a simple pawn move like this would get it. If he understands what you're trying to do, then he will look to free up this square for his knight. But there is a trick here as well. In case he plays g3 and after we attack with our pawn, he will move his knight back to g2. But to his surprise, we have this deadly move, bishop to g4. Believe it or not, his queen is trapped. Even if he blocks with his pawn, it will be of no use. So this again lands you in a very commanding position from where you can easily win this game. Going back, in this position like I told you, taking the knight back to g1 is actually the best move for white. 
but even if you place this, you still have quite a good position. Most of your pieces are active and can be developed quickly. Whereas even though white is a pawn up, all his pieces are still on the back rank and he's way behind in development. So this should still be quite a good game for you. Now let's come to the big question. How should you play this as white? How to prevent yourself from getting trapped? Well, let's look at this position on the board. Instead of pushing this pawn forward, the best move will be to attack this knight by playing pawn to c3. For black, knight to f5 is a good move because now if the pawn advances, the knight can take it and guard this weak f7 square as well. So all in all, if you look at this position, it's not a bad position for black. But white has a slight advantage. Nevertheless, this trick is definitely worth trying out in your games. Okay, so it's puzzle time. But before moving on to today's chess puzzle, I request you to show your support and like this video. We are targeting 3000 likes on this video. So come on guys, hit that thumbs up button right now. Okay, so here's the puzzle. In this position, it's your turn and you need to find the best move continuation for white. If you're able to find the solution to this puzzle, then share it in the comments below. Whoever gives the correct answer with the perfect explanation, I will be pinning that comment at the top so that everyone can see it. All the best guys, let's see how many of you can solve this. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and for some interesting chess tips, tricks and puzzles, you can like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. Links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video.